of a favorite Pokemon? The Porygon is my all-time favorite. Although I'm really liking Mimikyu. Oh, yeah, you're keeping up with the the Sun and Moon. I haven't been keeping up with it closely. If it appears on like my Twitter feed, then I'll I'll check it out. But I've been burned by so many like fake Alo Alo lovers. <laughs> yep. That I just don't even care anymore. <laughs> Wait until the game comes out. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Oh, this is a good one. Do you have like the, you buy swag, anime swag, anime merchandise? Of course I do. Who <laughs> do you think I am? Well, you are um, the world's number one school idol. I am the number one idol. That's true. I actually just got some Nico stuff in today. I've got way, way too too much of it. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll post it in the Twitch chat. Uh, that I took pretty recently because a, a friend of mine is in Japan right now and she was asking me um, if there was anything specific uh, to Love Live um, that I wanted her to bring me back. What am I even looking at right now? Uh, and uh, I tried to take a picture of at least all my keychains um, because there's way too much you, stuff that I You keep all your keychains right on your keychain? I I don't. Uh, <laughs> there are oh. of them. Some people their keychains are heavier than the key. Oh, is it kind of like an Eda bag for keychains? Hmm, kind of. I I started trying to make an Eda bag, but it's it's so I'm so picky about placement that I just haven't gotten around to finishing it yet. But I've got enough keychains to make one for sure. Uh, where's this picture? But um, yeah, I've got most of the, I think, major Nico figures. And then I collect merchandise of my my other characters and stuff. I think I've got almost every Ryuko figure known to man, <laughs> which is crazy to me because I don't know how I afforded. I've, I've been able to afford anything that I buy, honestly. Pretty much every job I book, the money goes straight back to Japan. Like, I don't even know why they pay me anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh, where's this picture? I'm so there it is. Okay. I will link this soon once I figure out Twitter. Twitter makes me feel old sometimes. Um, but yeah, this is this is just my keychain. I just posted in the chat. That is just my keychain collection. Um, and I think there's a few missing. I just got some new ones in today, like I said. Um, and then I've got the Nestle Berries, of course. Uh -huh, I've got uh -huh. the Miku crossover one. I've got Happy Maker. I've got regular school girl outfit and Sunny Day Song. And I've also got Sunny Day Song Katori. And yeah, I mean, I could I could keep going with that. You even got some really obscure stuff like the Powerpuff Girls crossover one. Yeah, this is I quite like a collection. Who auctions Japan? So, oh, you, you bought from Yahoo Auctions. Uh, I've been yeah, there. This is, like, a lot of the swag this, I'm giving away was from there, too. This is my life. <laughs> well, you're one of us, and we're happy yeah. that, like, some of the voice <laughs> actors are actually, like, real Love Life fans, and they don't just do the part, you know, for a part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think at least half of us in the cast play the game. Um, I know... Umi's actress does, Nozomi's actress does, uh, Maki's does. Um, I think Hanya's did for a bit. Pretty sure Reen's does. Uh, I think that's it that I can remember at the moment. But yeah, I am, I am a huge love liver. I even bought some stuff from the website uh, for the final live concert. Oh. Uh, that was fun. So I've got the uh, the Kingpin and the BB gloves, and I bought the, I think she might be on there, or the uh, the special keychain. Yeah, she is. She's kind of in the middle. The special BB keychain set. And I feel like there's something else, but I can't remember. There. But yeah, I, I've got a lot of merch. <laughs> There, I don't suppose there's, like, a second side to this thing. 
Oh, no. Okay, there's, okay. I mean, yeah, not a keychain. I mean, that stuff isn't even all attached. It's just kind of like stuff that I threw together uh, along with stuff that is attached to it just to kind of show my friend what I already had so she didn't give me any duplicates. Ah, so you don't actually like put everything on the bag and like carry it off? Well, I will at some point. I just... I'm so, like I said, I'm so picky about placement that it has to look good before I walk out of the house with it, you know? Well, we are approaching, I guess, the close to the end. But uh, I guess before we say goodbye, I'm pretty sure the chat would appreciate it if uh, you could do a few impressions for, you know, your standard... Okay. That up um, or yeah. kind of cast. Uh, I could do an Nico Nico Ni, I guess. Um, we'll see how it works because it's my voice is kind of a little low today. Um, so, um, okay. Oh, everybody's so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Nico Nico Ni! Oh, that was great. <laughs> uh, do you remember, like, the um, I think it was episode six, like when oh. they first meet Nico. Like he shows them um, the cast, like the first Nico, Nico, Ni, and then like the the Japanese line is something like "Anata no hato ni." Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got the the oh, whole thing that we did. for What the is that dub. in the um, the English equivalent? Yeah, I think so. Um. Okay, it's it, the English one was a little hokey, but we'll see how it goes <laughs> if I can remember a bit. Um, geez, what was it? Huh? Well, I'm trying to think. Okay. Nico Nico ni, I'll make your heart go Nico Nico ni. Hi there, I'm Nico Nico Yazawa, and I'm here to make your heart smile. Don't forget Nico ni, cause I'm Nico ni you. I love the last part. It's so perfect. <laughs> Sorry if I was too loud. <laughs> No, no, I purposely put you up on the maximum volume. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then your fault, not mine. That's fine. No, okay. I wish I could remember the Japanese one, though. Because it's so you, cute. Are you familiar with ours. Japanese, or...? I don't... I don't know it that well. Um, anything that I do know... Like, I can't speak sentences. I know certain words, so if I hear them, then I'm like, oh, they were probably talking about this you know but um i can sing songs in japanese if i have the lyrics sometimes but uh that's yeah i, I can't speak it fluently i wish i could but could you how about we give you the lines and you could try like the english nico voice in the japanese oh i don't want to butcher it though <laughs> well, well i don't think i think you'll do a fine job can somebody um give us oh no text? Well, I will tell you one of my favorite things to do is when I listen to Boko Hika, uh, when Nico's part comes up in that beginning, I, I really love just the Nico ni ego wa. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> but like that that part in like, put that in Romaji because I don't think Erica can read um, Japanese. No, I can't. I wish. I should really learn one of these days. Oops, yeah, I mean, I do, I do know like the, uh, what is that? The. <laughs> as I butcher that completely. <laughs> Pronunciation's like quite different from uh, English, so. Oh my gosh. And they go so fast too, and the words are just. I believe it's. My tongue doesn't work like that. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just post it. Uh, in the Skype chat, you can read it at your leisure. Okay. I'll try to go a little slower so I can actually say it, though. Oh, how do I Skype? I don't use Skype very often. There's a button on the top right. I got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I figured it out. It just took me a little while. Um... <laughs> That's... <laughs> that's, that's... Ah, 
頑張り Christmas has come early. <laughs> Guys, you should really watch the dub if you haven't.、Um, it gives you a, a different perspective of things. Like, I think they do a fine job too. Like, dubs aren't like the same dubs you experience d like back in the 1990s. Definitely upped their game. <laughs> well, thanks so much for saying that. Yeah,、uh, I honestly mean it. Like,、um, like, I used to be the kind of person that's like, Oh,、um, I don't really like dubs too much because, you know, I think they. Yeah, I, really I, I, I totally get it. I can't like embody the, like, the original, but I appreciate dubs a lot more now because it gives, like, I guess, less, lesser, less otaku ish people, you know, kind of like a gateway to enter, like, anime and all that.、Hmm. So, like, doing a really good dub、um, only, like, strengthens the industry as a whole. I agree. I'm glad people can appreciate them. Like, I, I know they're not for everybody and everybody has their preference, but as long as people like understand that, because、uh, I, I wrote a whole huge rant about this.、Um, you know, I was being nice about it because I, I totally get it, but like, we're not here to replace the Japanese actors. We're just trying to make the,、uh, the love for this series just more well known or like. Broader basically, so that more people can enjoy it. Because, you know, some people some people don't like reading subtitles, some people are dyslexic, some people, you know, are blind and they need to listen to the voices that they can understand the language of and, you know, not in a language that they don't know. But there, I mean, there's there's always reasons why people watch what they watch, and I don't really fault anyone for liking one or, over the other, you know. Guys, have you calmed down yet? <laughs> well, I guess there's one more thing I do want to ask.、Um, do you ever get, I guess, I don't want to be too personal, but like, do you ever get, like, I don't know, people saying, like, I don't know, like, you kind of ruined it for Nico or something like that? I know our community is, for the most part, is very nice, but there's always going to be, a, like, a bad egg. That's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I haven't had,、uh, for Love Live in particular, I haven't had anyone say anything to me directly, which is, which I really appreciate. Like I said, people can hate what they hate as long as they're just not really forceful about it and kind of force it on other people to, to feel the same way that they do or like put other people down for what they like.、Um, so, yeah, nobody's like outright just told me that I've, I've ruined. Her. It has happened for other characters before, and that kind of sucks, you know? Because wouldn't you hate, like, if somebody came up to you and was like, man, I hate your streams, or like, I hate your art, or like, your singing, or like, whatever, you know, people tend to be praised about more often than not.、Um, so, yeah, but the, for this one, it, it hasn't really happened, but I've, I've definitely seen it, and that's fine. I mean, like I said, people like what they like, and I'm not going to fault them for their preference. Uh, yeah, that's very insightful and that's a very important take home message. You learn nothing else from this session is that、uh, to do what you love, and there will always be haters, but you shouldn't let that stop you from doing what you love. Exactly. I totally agree. A, a few more things、uh, before we'll wrap up. I don't want to keep you here too long. Mm hmm.、Uh, Well, here's a good question to end it off with.、Uh, what's your favorite experience with Love Life fans? Oh,、um, hmm. That's so hard to say, really, because I feel like most of the experience with Love Life fans, I think I, I get because people are specifically there to like, get me to sign their stuff,、uh, regardless. Relating to Love Live, but、uh, a lot of the times I'll I'll go, like, I'm a huge fan of, of Love Live, like I said, but I also really love cosplay. So sometimes I'll sneak into like cosplay gatherings and take pictures and not tell anyone who I am. But I've,、oh. I've also, yeah, I've also had、uh, friends of mine、um, kind of out me sometimes, or like they'll invite me, if I know specific cosplayers, they'll invite me to go to the gatherings. And、uh, just 
it it just kind of feels like regardless if people like know what the dub sounds like or if they particularly like it or not people just tend to be excited when uh American voice actors do things like that because you don't get those kinds of experiences with the Japanese voice actors because it seems like their managers are very protective of them. Um, and we kind of have a little bit more free reign to do things like that. So it's kind of nice and and just seeing everybody just appreciate that we do those kinds of things is really cool, I think. And uh, uh, I also, I was at a convention in, uh, where was it? I don't remember. But uh, I, there was a whole muse group and they were performing songs and, and I got to go up on stage and they, uh, they had me do a Nico Nico Ni, which was really fun. And then I sat and I watched their, their performances of the songs and it was really cool. Actually really interesting because um, Japanese voice acting for the most part, yeah, as you mentioned, their, their managers are very like protective of like their, you know, the employees, so there isn't really too much yeah. kind of a fan interaction, aside from maybe like right. social media. Um, but for yeah. like the West, um, a lot more lenient. And actually, if we went to a convention, we could actually meet you. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like when like Cast of Aqua came to Anime Expo 2016. Not sure if you were yeah. there, but. I was there, yeah, but not. I, I didn't meet Aqua or anything. Yeah, like it was a really protective system of who could actually come meet the Seiyus, like get a greeting card from them, and you know, like spend a few seconds, like say hi or something like that. But very a lot more lenient on the American side. So I think that's yeah. something we should we take for granted. I think. Well, actually, uh, Christina V, who plays Katori, was in Australia or New Zealand. I can't remember which one. Uh, maybe it was New Zealand. Um, and she was there with Sotomaru, uh, of all people. And she, you know, she took pictures with her because that was just kind of the typical thing that they were doing uh, for Sotomaru's appearance there. But uh, she was actually trying to get an autograph for me. <laughs> I was really jealous that she was there and I wasn't. But she was saying that her man... Uh, Soramara's manager is really like so strict about all that that she couldn't get one. So, yeah, that stuff kind of sucks. But at the same time, I get it because I feel like they probably have. I mean, because you hear all these these things. Uh, I'll I'll keep up with anime news at work every now and then, mm -hmm. and you'll see these these news stories about Seiyu who do these meet and greet events, and then somebody will come with like dangerous objects and like try to hurt this person uh because they've got such a huge following you know it's so it, yeah it there's always scary. gonna be those like bad eggs out there and again yeah that's something that happens a lot less in america so yeah again I something mean, we take it for could granted. happen which is a scary it, it could happen like anything could really yeah. realistically happen but it just doesn't happen as often if at all yeah so keeping my fingers crossed for that <laughs> Everybody stay good and calm and, and we'll keep doing, you know, special things for you guys, like, you know, crashing cosplay gatherings and and doing streams like this, you know? I don't so. I don't suppose you cosplay. Oh, I used to way back in the day. I keep saying that like I'm fifty years old and not. <laughs> um, but I uh actually I just posted a picture on my Twitter where I uh I think last year or two years ago, I cosplayed as Ryuko at a Halloween convention that I was at, uh, or a convention that was on, during Halloween weekend, rather. And I actually, it's, I can't fit into it right now because tiny Asian sizes and it's mm -hmm. an official costume, but I have the official Angelic Angel Nico costume. Oh. So one day when I lose like 20 pounds, <laughs> but, yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, I think we should wrap things up. Um, a few more things, and then we'll uh say our goodbyes. So, okay. are you attending any cons in the near future that perhaps people can meet you here? Oh yeah, for sure. Let me let me pull up my calendar because I always forget. But I've got at least six. I'm done for this year. Um, Understandable. Yeah, got... there's only one month left. Yeah, I, after this, I did a. I did a lot <laughs> this year. I did like 16. I was actually just in New Zealand, which was pretty cool. 
a lot of Nico fans there, which is awesome. Um, let's see. In January, I'll be at IzumiCon, which I believe is in Oklahoma. Uh, and then I'll be at Otakon Vegas in Vegas. Uh, I'll be at Anime Milwaukee. Um, ShudoCon in... I forget where that one is. Uh, look it up. ShudoCon, yay. Um, <laughs> and I'll be at Colorado Anime Fest. Uh, those both are in March. And one that I can't talk about in May yet, but it's a place that I've been to before fairly recently. So, yeah, that's all I've got planned so far. Um, I post most announcements when I can uh, on my Twitter and my Facebook page. So Yep, so follow her on Twitter, Facebook. Yep. If you're interested in that. Uh, I don't suppose you have any roles that you um, accepted in recently. Uh, recently, um, boop, boop, um, <laughs> geez, I, I, like, need to go to my page to find announcements, because they all kind of mesh together at a certain point, uh, because I've, I've just been, I mean, not bragging, obviously, um, but, or it may not be that obvious, but it feels obvious to me, uh, I, I've been so fortunate to be in so many awesome things as really important characters to each series. So it's been really cool. Oh, actually I just, uh, got to announce that I'm going to be in the Akiba's beat video game as Saki Hoshino. That's coming out sometime whenever I have no idea when that's coming out. Uh, I'm in the anime erased as Kenya Kobayashi. Um, there's always Hunter Hunter airing on Toonami for the rest of eternity. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2, I play Risha in that. Um, I was just in, uh, uh, I got to reprise my role as Nagisa in Danganronpa 3, the anime, which is cool. And everything else, I think, is too old at this point. But I've got plenty more that hopefully I should be able to talk about in the next few months. And I'm really excited for them. We're all, we're all looking forward to your work in the near future. Yeah, thanks. And anyone who, lucky enough to be in one of those mentioned cons, has a chance to meet. So I don't really, yes. I don't really, um, not really familiar with the like procedure. How does that usually work? Is it like an autograph session that you line up for? Uh, I usually do uh, for for American cons uh, and the few Canadian ones I've been to. It, it's just typical. Like I'll do panels a certain amount of panels a day and then uh autograph sessions usually there's more autograph sessions than panels it feels like at most cons um but actually at the one in new zealand i only did one panel and then like a million autograph sessions it felt like forever but it's really cool because you know obviously if you're in a location a lot less they're gonna have more autograph sessions for you so everybody can meet you when they have the chance to or else you know they won't get to meet you for Years to come. Oh my! But yeah, I I always do autographs, and they're free autographs. I have prints sometimes that I sell, but if uh, people bring stuff for me to sign, I will sign most anything for free. Prepare your Nico cards. Yes, I signed so many of the Vice Words cards. They're so great. Right. One last thing uh, before we'll say goodbye. Uh, the whole reason I called you on the show, I'm sure you're familiar that one of our community members was recently diagnosed with cancer. So um, could you actually say some encouraging words to them uh, in, in uh, the Nico voice? Help them, help them out? Oh, I am so bad at improv, but I will try to do this the best I can. Um, trying to find the email. It was Eki, right? Yeah. Eki? Um... Do, 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 do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, it's so hard coming up with stuff on the spot. Hey Eki, this is the number one idol, Nico Nico. I Nico Nico need you to keep your spirits up so you can get better soon. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure it means a lot to them. Awesome. Thank you once again for appearing 
I know you probably have a busy schedule, so I asked you like literally a week <laughs> ago because I was. All of this was planned in like a, approximately a week's time, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and with a busy fourth year university schedule, I didn't leave much time for anything else. But thank you so much, and hopefully, we'll have more opportunities like this in the future to talk, not only talk to Erica, but maybe some other uh, colleagues. Yeah, I'm sure if you know time permits for them, they'd be happy to. All right, that's great. And one thing, uh, and then we will say goodbye. Can you watch NCNC and <laughs> tell us what you think about it? What is it? <laughs> oh, don't worry, y'all. Yo, okay. yo, yo, chat okay. link, link NCNC. I'm like we, we wanted to make NCNC viral, and <laughs> I think you might be the candidate to do it. Oh. <laughs> if you enjoy it, like, you can tweet it. That's all I'm gonna okay. say. <laughs> Where, uh, are you putting it in the... Where I'll, I'll I... give it to you. Oh. I think it's the link. Yeah, it's the link that Skittles. Is it this YouTube link? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So many YouTube links. Oh no, I already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Any thoughts on this? I'm still watching. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I I tried <laughs> I tried to avoid the the, uh, the meme. What is it? Was it a pen pineapple? Pen pen pineapple so apple pineapple pen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, whatever it's like actually called. Like I've I've tried to avoid it so much, but it just kind of happened, and I watched it one day. Um, so that's how I, I knew the the sound the the opening of the song. But that's that's actually really that's really funny. That's that's so clever. I like oh, that. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for sharing this hour with us. And thank you for <laughs> no approving problem. NCNC as the next viral video. <laughs> that that last part is optional. <laughs> like you can share it with your followers if you really want to. No, I'll do it. It was fun. <laughs> Oh, I was like, we was did like, it, oh, chat. Like, we did it. We we made a meme. We made a love live meme together. <laughs> I can guarantee it'll go viral because only certain people follow me for love live specifically. But but we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, say goodbye to Erica one last time, chat. Uh, Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you once again for joining us. Uh, hopefully, your your appearance actually made us reach ten thousand. I think. Oh. Uh, I see Nico's uh, Nico's pledges went up way higher too, which I appreciate. Um, I'm not sure if Nico will maintain the top girl by the end of the event, but um, you've definitely given her a great head start. <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we will have this opportunity again. Goodbye. All right.